Welcome to a new series that I'm going to be doing weekly to add on to Animal Appreciation and Endangered Species Spotlight called, I, I don't know what I'm going to call it, but it's about biomes and different interesting areas in the world, kind of what animals and plants live there, their like cultural and environmental purpose, um, impact, I guess, or importance, that's the word. So just talk about a neat area in the world and what's interesting about it. And I guess the more detailed ones are honestly going to be North American and Canadian because I am Canadian. That's what I'm most familiar with. But I will try to hit at least like a bunch of things on different continents. So the very first one to start off with, let's talk about the Great Bear Rainforest in British Columbia, Canada, my province. So... I guess when you think of Canada, rainforest is not the first thing that comes to mind, admittedly, but this is a kind of different rainforest than the ones most people are familiar with, and it is actually a temperate rainforest, which is very, very different than a tropical rainforest. So basically, what qualifies as a rainforest is based on the amount of rain it gets and precipitation. So if an area gets a certain amount of rain and meets these certain requirements, it is considered a rainforest, and the Great Bear Rainforest qualifies as that. So this is a map of the east coast of... west coast of British Columbia, and this shadowed-in area is the amount of land that is covered by the Great Bear Rainforest. So due to all the rainfall, it is very lush and green with and it's a old growth forest, which means, so basically all of the trees there, or at least most of the trees there are pretty old, have been around for a very long time and are kind of irreplaceable. The trees most commonly found in the Great Bear Rainforest include cedar, um, sitka spruce, various types of fir, as well as water hemlock. Additionally, there's a lot of ground cover plants like ferns and lots of moss and lichen. There's also a lot of streams and rivers running through it, which makes it a very big spot for salmon spawning. I talked more about the salmon in the Endangered Species Spotlight from last week, but basically salmon are a very, very important part of the old growth and, um, in general, the Great Bear Rainforest. These salmon provide food for the things that live there, such as grizzly bears and um, bald eagles and herons, as well as the leftover salmon that don't get eaten. They cycle their nutrients into the water and into the soil, which also contributes to the like lushness of the overall area because there's so many nutrients from the salmon being released into the dirt that is really, really good for the plants. And so that's like fantastic fertilizer and just fuels the great growth of the trees and plants there. In addition to the salmon, there's also a bunch of bird species, such as the bald eagle, blue heron, I'm pretty sure there's spotted owls which live there, which are endangered because they need old growth forests for their habitat. And the Great Bear Rainforest is one of those old growth forests that makes perfect habitat for the spotted owls. What the Great Bear Rainforest is probably the most well-known for is these Kermode Bears, aka Spirit Bears. So what the Spirit Bears are, they are a population of regular black bears that have the mutation that instead of coming out black or brown, they come out white or cream colored. Now, normally um, being super light colored in areas that you're not supposed to be is disadvantageous to the animals and usually there's not a ton of them because it just makes it harder, but the Great Bear Rainforest provides actually pretty decent environment for these unusually colored bears to survive, so there is a pretty thriving population of the spirit bears. In addition to being just very interesting on their own, spirit bears are also culturally very important to the indigenous groups in the area. There's lots of like lore and spiritual things surrounding the Komodi bears because they're so interesting and they're not normally what you see. Again, this is like pretty much the most well-known facet of the Great Bear Rainforest. This is kind of what it's 
known for, the spirit bears. However, spirit bears are not the only things to live there. There's also things like cougars and raccoons and foxes and gray wolves. But what's interesting about the gray wolves is lots of them are what are known as sea wolves now. And what the sea wolves are, they're basically a population of regular gray wolves that were living in the Great Bear Rainforest that have like tended towards more the coastal areas, so around the Pacific Ocean. And by living there, they have gradually ad adapted through natural selection to be way better suited for living by the coast and like not partially aquatic, but they do go in the water a lot more than most wolf populations. These sea wolves are well adapted to hunt things like salmon and sea otters and they can swim for way longer and they've also been seen scavenging whale carcasses on the beach and everything. And of course, we can't talk about Canadian wildlife without mentioning our good friend the moose, which, fun fact, are kind of disturbingly good swimmers. Like, of all the things you expect to see in the water, a moose is not one of them. But they do swim, and swim often enough that one of their significant predators are the orca whales. Which, while not in the actual rainforest themselves, orca and humpback whales both live along the BC coast and are therefore associated with it culturally and environmentally as they like hunt the salmon and interact with like the sea wolves and the moose that do live in the Great Bear Rainforest. So the Great Bear Rainforest, since it's so unique and so important, it is protected and I'm pretty sure it's a national park. So you can go visit it. I personally haven't been, but it is on my bucket list. So if you are along the British Columbia coast, if you're ever in Canada, go check it out, go learn about it. It is a super amazing place and I will go there next chance I get.